Last year's tourney runner-up, Ohio State, certainly sitting directly on the bubble. But a victory against number 11 Wisconsin at home Sunday on CBS would go a long way to pushing them towards the NCAA tournament. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com, breaking down some of the best college basketball every single week. This week, it is a huge Big Ten matchup on CBS. And for more, let's bring in CSTV Steve Lapis to break it down. And uh, Steve, when you look at this game and you look at this team, uh, that being Wisconsin, let's start there with the Badgers. Bo Ryan has talked about how Marcus Landry has provided a huge spark here in, in Big Ten play. What about his game is different? Well, you know, he's such a typical good Bo Ryan player in that he's a tough kid. He kind of plays inside. He's kind of an undersized guy who can go to the box but can make the 15-footer. So he has done a great job. His scoring and his rebounding are up in Big Ten play. So he's been a big difference into why this team now, which wasn't considered before the season started, a real contender in the Big Ten, now may be the favorite in the league. Well, they certainly are at the top there with Purdue heading into the weekend. Uh, both teams 12-2, and two, although both of Wisconsin's losses are to the Boilermakers, but uh, you know, in, in this game, you talk about Landry being a little bit undersized, but Wisconsin has, they have some beef in there. It's almost like they're more physical than the Buckeyes. You got a guy like Brian Butch versus a guy for Ohio State, like a freshman in Costa Cufas. No, they are much more physical. They're one of the more physical teams in the country. They average over six rebounds a game more than their opponents. But more than that, Butch and Krabahoff and Landry, these guys are really tough guys. And even their point guard, Flowers, is a tough guy. Big, strong kid. So when it comes to physicality, that's one of the things that Bo Ryan's teams always have. And now they're going against a team in Ohio State. Costa Kufos is going to be a very good player. I mean, he's good now. He's averaging seven rebounds, 14 points. So he's a good player already. But he is really going to come into some physicality that he's going to see in this game that maybe hasn't really seen that much so far this year. But both teams are great defensive teams. They both hold teams under 40%. They both hold teams down below their average in three-point shooting. So this, these two teams in a lot of ways mirror each other. I just think this Wisconsin team a little older, a little more mature, mature, and a little more physical. Well, that means you got to take care of the ball because both these teams are very good defensively. And you have to do that in every game. But Jamar Butler has been asked to do a lot for Ohio State and Thad Mata. Last year was the two-guard. Mike Conley Jr. ran the show this year back to the point guard. Has that hurt them a little bit? It may have hurt them a little bit, but you have to say Jamar Butler's had an unbelievable year. He has almost a 3-1 to one assist to turnover ratio with 166 assists and 66-67 turnovers. So he's really done a great job. But the problem for Ohio State is he is the only one on the team with a positive assist to turnover ratio. So they've turned the ball, except for him, everyone else on the team has turned the ball over way too much. And these are the kinds of things that Wisconsin, being the solid defensive team that they are, that they really feast on. Hey, let's not forget this Ohio State team lost. We all know about Greg Oden and Mike Conley, but they also lost Daquan Cook, who's uh, sitting there with the uh, Miami Heat. Steve, it's a game on CBS. Who do you like to win? Well, I like Wisconsin in the game. I think Wisconsin, as I said, is more physical, a little tougher, and just a little bit more seasoned right now coming into big games like this. All right. CSTV Steve Lapis, thank you very much, sir. Thanks for having me. Folks, the game on CBS, 4 p.m. Eastern on Sunday afternoon. And for more of the 11th ranked Wisconsin Badgers and Ohio State Buckeyes, stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else all over the CBS Audience Network. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.